Welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, we're actually doing something new. So welcome. This is kind of my first video showcasing a new venture of mine. This is my new project right behind me. I bought a van for travel. So. I'm actually, um, you can see I've got a bed inside here. I've got a little cooler back there, a little table. I'm adding things into the van to make travel a little bit easier for me. Um, and to kind of broaden my horizons on where I stay and what I do. I love to travel, so why not travel in style? So now, in this van, I can just go and I've got a place to stay at the same time. So I thought this was a good idea. Let's hope it remains a good idea. But I wanted to show you guys how easy it is to actually do something like this. If you have been thinking about a little RV or a little camper van or something, it's not as difficult as you think it might be. I am not a crafty person, I'm not a carpenter, I'm not a builder. I needed something that was very budget friendly and something that I could feasibly do without spending a whole lot of money. So I'm going to kind of show you what I did, what materials I used in the van here so that if you're like me, maybe you have a smaller budget, maybe you're not crafty or a builder. But you can still do this because I did. So let me show you what I did with my van. This is simple. This is a no build, build out, <laughs> no build van, I guess you could call it. Um, I'm just adding stuff inside here. So this requires no building. Uh, so let's get started so you can see how easy this actually is. Come on, let's go. All right, guys, so here it is. Now, you'll, you'll have to excuse the... You probably saw in the intro, there's like flies <laughs> flying around. I live out in the country, so there's cows everywhere and horses, and so we have flies, okay? So just don't mind the flies. They'll be, they'll be buzzing around a little bit. <laughs> but this is the basic um, overview that you see right here of course the bed being the most important the focal point that's the number one thing I wanted to get into this van first and foremost so this was a challenge and okay how do I get a bed and how do I get a decent one in here without having to build a platform or anything like that because you can kind of see that it is off the floor it is not um, an air mattress. This is actually a Coleman cot. A camping cot that you can buy from Walmart. And this one, I think it was called the Coleman Ridgeline 3, I want to say. But this cot, if you don't already have one, it is going to cost you a little bit of money. I did not have one, so I did have to purchase one. If you've already got one, you're ahead of the game. This one I purchased for around $80 to $85. Now, this cot, specifically this one, you can see, is actually a canvas base right there, and it has some springs on it. I wanted this model of cot specifically because it has the springs, so to me it was more like a real bed because a lot of the cots just have like a straight canvas and there's no give to it and this one had the springs on it so it was more like a bed to me. 
So anyway, this cot actually came with a small pad. You can see it right there underneath the bedding. It came with a small pad, a small mattress pad. And what I did to make it a little more comfortable is add some memory foam on top of it. So you can kind of see that here. I'm kind of squeezing it here. So that's just on top of the pad you get with the Coleman cot. So I just added the memory foam or you can get upholstery foam from craft stores or from Walmart and just add it on top to make it just a little more comfortable so that's all I did you can if it's a little bit big if the memory foam that you get or upholstery foam is a little bit big get some scissors and cut that sucker and just uh, make it fit your Coleman uh, mattress pad put it together you got a bed um, I purchased this from Walmart as well and you can see kind of my theme is going to be a turquoise theme. So it just, it all came together. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this is from Walmart. So I actually bought a set, a comforter set. It came with the decorative pillows, that little howdy pillow. That right there I bought separately. Um, it just, it's cute and it matches. <laughs> and I'm a country girl, so there you go. Um, this little table right here I also found at Walmart. So this one's about 17 inches tall. So it, it fits right there so you can sit on the bed and you have something kind of level. And of course it folds down and can be stored uh, over on that side of the bed or at the end of the bed somewhere where it doesn't kind of move around. I just wanted to mention the dimensions of the cot just in case you're curious this cot is about it's a little over 25 inches wide so we're talking about it's gonna be a little bit narrow more narrow <laughs> a little bit more narrow than a twin size uh, mattress twin size bed so it's a little over 25 inches wide. It's gonna be about 75 inches long. And it's about 15 inches, maybe a little over 15 inches tall. So it's gonna sit up off of the floor of the van about 15 inches or so. So that made it perfect to go with the table here that sits about 17 with the memory foam and the pad on the cot, the table and the bed are kind of level at that point. So it just, it just kind of worked. But that gives you an idea of how big this bed is and how much room in the back of this van there is. This is a very, this is a small van guys, okay? I have seen people do this, um, make a camper out of so many things. Small vehicles, small SUVs, minivans. So, this is a small van, but I have more room in this than I have seen a lot of people work with. So, that just gives you an idea of, of what we're working with as far as the cot's concerned. And yes, you may hear these uh, girls talking in the background, but I do have chickens that are checking out the van too, just FYI. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just going to remove this right now and put that on the ground. So we can look underneath the bed. These are essential. <laughs> They're just little storage bin, little canvas storage bins. And um, of course they go with the turquoise theme I've got going in here, but these are from Walmart. Those are, and they come in all kinds of different colors. And so I have them stored underneath the bed. And that's a good thing about these cots as well is that they sit up off of the floor so that you can put stuff underneath the bed so it's good for storage now this rug that you see in here this is an outdoor rug found this at walmart as well in the outdoor garden section this rug is actually five foot by seven foot okay so it's not a perfect fit 
for this van um but i made it work as you can see i kind of had to curl it under in a couple of spots because it wasn't a perfect fit it was just a little bit too big but we made her work folks um i may do something different in the future that's a little more form fitting for the van <laughs> but it works i just wanted something to protect the floor of the van and with it being an outdoor rug it's uh, hopefully going to be a little bit easier to clean if i track in dirt and whatnot so it's a little more rough of a material and i'm hoping that'll help things stay in place too and not slide all over the place so that'll be nice you can probably see I've got a friend up here. <laughs> I mean, I'm I'm an adventurer, so I have to have a little sidekick. I've got Hey Hey up here. <laughs> this is one of the shoulder pals that you can get at uh, Disney World. <laughs> so he's he's gonna be along for the ride. Y'all, I don't have a big power source yet um th this is going to be an evolving thing okay so i've got to do what i've got to do right now um this is just a coleman cooler so when i'm ready to go out uh, on a trip or something i'll have to fill that with ice and uh, put my food and drinks inside there for now um i just i also want to point out how awesome this is um <laughs> it's the little things this passenger seat in this model, uh, or in this van, actually folds down like a table. And so I'll be able to use that to place stuff on when we're stationary and, and use that as, as a little table if I wanted to. I could sit on this even, or... Um, so that was kind of cool. I love the... I just love that pillow. It makes me happy. Okay, so there's something essential. If you've got windows in your van, there are a lot of these little commercial vans that don't have windows. Okay, like this side of the van is just a panel. It, it has no windows. The back doors do have glass in them. So that, were, that was two windows I had to cover. And then the side door over here has a glass in it. And so I needed to figure out something for privacy, maybe something for insulation. And the best thing is Reflectix. It's what it's called. It comes in a big roll. It's just like, it's basically foam insulation, okay? You can find this at Lowe's, Home Depot, it comes in a big roll. You just buy it and you cut it out to fit your windows. And so this stuff really just kind of stays in there. You really don't need to put anything on it. You can just cut it out and shove it in the window and it just kind of stays. I mean, it's, this is a no frills version right here, okay? This is really easy. Anybody can do this. This one's a little bit oversized. I didn't do as well on this one. This is kind of like one of my, the first ones I did. But it kind of works because you see these little knobs right here? This used to have like a cage over the glass, okay? So I had to unscrew all of the screws here, which let me tell you, I do not have power tools. So this was a challenge in finding the right tool and getting these suckers off there. I mean, it was, <laughs> it, it took a while. But anyway, these, these little things right here actually cover the exposed screws because there's still screws in there. And so I just, this, this, <laughs> cutout was a little botched so I just kind of shoved it underneath these screws right here and it just holds it on so I was like I'm not wasting this piece of reflective because I'm gonna just use it so as long as it stays put I'm good just show you when you're ready to take this down you just there you go dirty window <laughs> okay y'all something else that was necessary we're sitting at the head of the bed here you can see this tape right there that is actually velcro okay so at home depot or lowe's they have heavy duty velcro 
I have put that kind of all across the van right here. And what that is going to hold is my, what I would call, I guess, a partition curtain. So that curtain is going to separate the front of the cab from the back. So I don't necessarily have to have that Reflectix full in, uh, insulation on the front windows if I don't want to. I'm still thinking about getting one for the dash. Um because I think I already have one. So, but this will just be a privacy curtain. Um, I purchased 100% blackout curtains, so I don't want any light coming through. I don't want anybody to see that there's light in here. I'm trying to be kind of stealth with it. So, but anyway, the curtains are going to, I just attached, get away flies. I just attached the Velcro here, the sticky side, of course, on the metal. And then I attach the other half of the Velcro to my curtains. Let me show you. So you can see right here where I've attached the other side of the Velcro to the top of the curtains and actually along the sides so I can um, kind of put it on the sides as well so that it kind of conforms to the van so there's no light coming through. And I just attach that when I'm ready to go to bed or I can keep them up all the time honestly um i could just attach them up there and have complete privacy back here so the curtains are actually like a gray still kind of go with the theme here i didn't want black i wanted something with a little bit of color in it so the black is actually going to show towards the front and the gray uh, is going to be here in the back so it's still kind of goes with my little theme here but yeah you just attach these to that velcro and uh you are stealth back here nobody will be able to see back here from the cab of the van those curtains they're called eclipse 100 percent blackout curtains you can find those at walmart guys i mean it's it's yeah i i, I mean i guess basically everything i have in here right now is pretty much from walmart <laughs> or uh, Lowe's. Um, the Velcro and the Reflectix to go in the windows and, and things like that, of course, are, are from Lowe's. But everything else, you can go to your local Walmart and find it or get on Amazon. Amazon's a great place to find stuff. Um, you've got a huge selection. No matter what your, your theme is, what your styling is, you can find something there and I've already ordered some things from Amazon that I don't yet have in the van. So Walmart and Amazon, they're your friends for simple, easy to get items that are not going to cost you a boatload. I wanted to show you up here on the ceiling, you can see there's, you know, holes and bars up here to hang stuff. And there will be some stuff hanging up here. That, that stuff I told you I ordered from Amazon. I'm ordering little lights to go in here. Probably like little fairy lights or whatever. Battery powered. And uh, also there's some lights that are magnetic that you can stick to the top of the ceiling here. And turn on when you're in here. I just wanted to kind of show y'all what the curtain situation is didn't get it on there good but kind of give you an idea and you can see here this piece actually goes back on the door like that so it's kind of forming to the the uh door right there but there's another curtain i have that goes on the other side so it would be completely partitioned off just using velcro and, and a curtain blackout curtain so I want to say both panels of the curtain were like 30 inches wide and 63 inches long just wanted to let you guys know as of right now I do not have a toilet in my van <laughs> when I told people that I was getting a van that is one of the first questions they asked they were like how are you gonna use the bathroom <laughs> So as of right now, I've still got to figure that out or I've got to go to places where 
there is a restroom that is easily accessible. So if I don't get a toilet anytime soon, but I want to go traveling, then I'll just have to modify where I go and, and what I do. So if I go to a campground, it's probably going to have to have restroom facilities or if I stealth camp, it's going to have to be somewhere where I can easily get to facilities if I need to. Otherwise, I'm still looking at options on that situation so if you have any suggestions anything that's easy budget friendly and easy let me know because I've, I've seen many many options from a shovel that you dig a hole in the ground to a bucket to a cassette toilet I mean I've seen so many options so let me know what you think is the best so there she is for right now um, this is your basics. I mean, bed is the most important thing here, I think. And so that's in. We've got the windows covered. We've got, you know, a cooler in, um, in case we're bringing food and stuff with us. A little table to eat off of. The only thing I need to do is bring my little camping chair and, and put it in here. Um, I'll definitely need to bring that along just to have an extra chair. But yeah, here's the basics. And like I said, everything came from Walmart or Lowe's. Very easily accessible. If you have some of these items, you're already ahead of the game. If not, I think the most expensive thing that I had to buy for the inside of this van was probably the cot. Didn't already have one. Um, and you can also use like an air mattress if you don't have a cot, if you don't wanna do the, the cot thing air mattresses work I mean there's so many options this is just what I did thank you guys so much for watching this little video I just wanted to let you know how I did this because when I first started thinking of buying a little camper van I was completely lost and I was a little bit bummed because I was like, I don't have a whole lot of money. I don't build. I'm seeing these people in these awesome vans, these transit vans that are just decked out to the nines. And I'm like, I can't, I can't do that right now, but I really want a little camper. I, I really want to get out on the road. It's doable. And I want to tell you this as well, because some of the ideas that I had for my van for this no build came from someone who already has a YouTube channel who has been doing this for a lot longer than I have. She even, how I found her was, I was searching for ideas for the, Envy, the Nissan NV200 van, which is what I have. I was looking for ideas on how to turn it into a camper. So I was searching on YouTube for ideas and I came across this really cool lady in an MV200. I'm gonna put her channel handle down here on the screen so you can watch her videos if you want to. She travels a lot. She goes out to parks and camps and she's got her little van and she is rocking it, okay? She taught me how easy it was to get started with this little camper van and not have to build it, not have to spend a ton of money. Her channel is called Bunny Plays Here, and I'm gonna put her handle down below so that you can check her out because she explains things and does things way better than I can. So check her out. She was an inspiration to me. So anyway, thank you again for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there's something important I left out, let me know. Otherwise, stay tuned to see how this van evolves and where we go with it. Because right now, it's travel ready. I'm ready to go. Just with the little bit I've done, it's road ready. So I'm ready. Let's go. Come back. See where we wander to next. And thank you for watching. See ya.